Okay, for this question of the day, there's a couple of different ways to go about it. Some of you guys have the rule memorized for exponents. If you have the rule memorized, hey, that's the quickest way to go. But for those of us who always forget all those rules that our teacher made us uh, memorize, what in the world can we do? Well, your first resort whenever you see an exponential expression like this, if you're not sure what to do, I don't know if it's your first resort, maybe it's your last resort, because when you're just really not sure what to do, try writing things in expanded form. Expanded form will usually shed the light on whatever you're doing. So what is expanded form? It's rewriting something with an expo exponent as repeated multiplication. So for example, x to the third means, by definition, x multiplying by itself three times, or x times x times x. I hope that makes sense. So one way I could rewrite x to the third power is x times x times x. Beautiful. Uh, but this isn't the only exponential in this expression. I also have this, x to the sixth power. What, well, what does that mean? It means x times x. It means six x's multiplying. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, six. Now, one more thing we need to understand is right now we don't have written down what's happening between these two. I have three x's multiplying over here, six x's multiplying over here. But based on this problem, what's going on between them? Well, you might remember that in math class, proximity, if two things are shoved together, generally means multiplication. So if two things are shoved together without a symbol in between them, they're multiplying. So these three x's are multiplying with those six x's. And from just writing it out in expanded form, we can see we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine x is multiplying. And so absolutely the correct answer to this would be x to the ninth power. That's as much as we can simplify. Um, we can't do anything else because we don't know what x is. Okay. Now, some of you guys now have figured out the shortcut. Well, dear goodness, I wouldn't want to write all this out every single time I do a problem. Especially, I mean, imagine if it was like x to the 27th times x to the 53rd. Have fun writing out all your x's. So can you see the shortcut? Can you see the math rule? What would I have to do with these two numbers, 3 and 6, to get to 9? And most people see it. They see it right away. Oh, I'd have to add. And if you saw that, you'd be absolutely right. That's what's known as the product rule. The product rule. And you'll have to have this one memorized for your college classes. So this is a great intro to this. Even though you didn't need to have this rule memorized to solve this problem, you will have to have it memorized later. So the product rule says that when multiplying like bases... So these are like bases. They both had a base of x. You just add the exponents. This is how I think about it. I had 3x's multiplying and 6 more x's multiplying for a total of 9x's multiplying. Hope that makes sense.